It's one of those classic vintage Formula 3 seasons, and it's also the last of its type, given the merger that will take place with GP3 in 2019. We've already met some of the major stars on this show, including Anam Ahmed, who has been winning races with high tech, and we make no apologies now for introducing another major star of the future, Yuri Vips, the young Estonian rookie who's already won three times this year for the Motorpark team. Yuri, congratulations on the season so far. Still a bit of racing to do, but mm -hmm. What a, what a jump, what a, what a change for you from Formula 4, you won the championship, ADAC championship, and now to Formula 3, and you're really right at the front. Yeah. It hasn't uh, taken you that long. Amazing. Uh, yeah, it took me some races in the beginning of the year to get the pace up, but yeah, I think since Norris Ring, I really made a jump, and I don't know, it's, I think it's just the confidence and everything, you know, coming together. And yeah, uh, since the last few race weekends, I've really had the pace to be in the front consistently, and... Uh, yeah. Um, well, Mizano was more than just pace and being there, the wet as well. And it looks as if you really love the wet. Uh, well, you were really quick in the wet, let's put it that way. Yeah. Uh, uh, it's different, obviously. It depends on the tracks as well. Some I'm not amazing, but Mizano was really strong. Um, because, yeah, in qualifying, I was one of the only ones actually not abusing the track limits completely. It's funny so, enough, I spoke to about 10 drivers who have all yeah, said that. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, really? Okay. <laughs> I'm kind of joking, because, but yeah. I know Fenestra has said that, Inam said that, yeah. and a couple of others, yeah. Inam uh, mm. is, uh, is very valid because he, he's the one who didn't get a penalty. He qualified, I think, P11, and because of he didn't get a penalty, he started alongside me on the second. Yeah, that's right, so, yeah. <laughs> and was it a specific corner? Sorry to interrupt. Was it a specific corner or track limits in general because there are lots of sort of slow... Um, Corners, yeah, no, there was two corners, um, but we didn't cover them during the um, during the briefing because you know we were just I don't know why, but we only cover for some reason only the dry. Mm -hmm. Where where are the like potential places to you know gain an actual advantage? But we didn't consider the wet, and then we happened to have a wet qualifying session, and then suddenly, you know, the Prima cars were uh, no one could get within half a second in sector one. Now, you drove for Motor Park this year. Until now, you've been with Prima. You switched to Motor Park for Formula 3, mm -hmm. and you've got Dan Tictum alongside you, the Red Bull driver, winner of the Autosport Young Driver Award. But you're looking pretty good. How's that going, That long, having you alongside you? Uh, it's good, actually. He's, well, he's kind of known to be as a bad boy, but <laughs> I, I can confirm he's actually really good to work with as a teammate. Um, but, yeah, we've just been... Well, not maybe the first few races, but the rest of the season we've really been pushing each other and I think that's worked out really well so far. So. Well, it worked out well for you. The points difference now <laughs> is pretty small. What was it? How's the point, points changed uh, after over the last Budapest, I think it was something like 50, 55, 60. I, I don't even remember. It was yeah. big. But, yeah, now it's 12. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, yeah, we'll see what happens. The top five is still, like, really, really close in a championship, yeah. so I can go from second to fifth anyway. That's as well as I can go from second to first. So we'll see what happens in the next three races. And uh, hopefully, It's always difficult when you look at a Formula 3 season to say this is an epic season that will be remembered for a long time because it's easy to do that in retrospect. When it's actually happening, you think, oh, was it really as good as three or four years ago? But I'm sure this one will go down as a vintage year for Formula 3. There's a lot of talent there. And you've got some, you've got some guys that you race with in Formula 4, right, alongside you too, haven't you? That you're competitive with. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, for sure. It's been a, it's been a good year. It's been like this strange run because last year, for example, the last few years actually, you could predict quite well like what's gonna you know, you go into a race, you can kind of predict who's at at the front, who's at the back. Yeah. But you know this, I don't know who, what's gonna happen in Nürburgring. You know, you can't predict the top ten, um, anyone really. And uh, yeah, it's just all been shuffling around. You know, one time there's the Prima cars are dominant. One time it's me and Dan. One time it's even a uh, Ina on pole mm. or, or a Carlin and Fenestra, someone like this. So yeah, it's been. When you've got your car absolutely right and you know the lap's a good one, how much fun is it to drive a Formula Three car 2018? Uh, it's 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 proper good. Um, yeah, uh, F4 I kind of got tired of. Maybe it was the second year as well, but F3 I'm still like so pumped to get in the car and it's just so fun to drive. You like, look great through the uh, Beckett's S's at, at Silverstone. Yeah, thanks. Uh, I think it's the funnest I've had, the funnest section of corners I've, uh, I've driven. That's all for this show, other than congratulate the talented Lando Norris on securing a McLaren drive for 2019, and to highlight the real star at Monza, in my view, Ferrari's technical director, Mattia Benotto. Much maligned when he was first appointed, Mattia, low-key, and very much a people manager, has produced one impressive race car in that Ferrari 
SF71H. Here he is after his cars took the front row of the grid at Monza, trying to tell one of the Brembo guys that he, Mattia, had nothing at all to do with it. He's that sort of guy. We'll be back next week with more from the world of motorsport. Thanks for watching. See you then.